and welcome to Capital Jeep. My name is Jasmine and today we're going to be looking at this 2014 Chrysler Town & Country in true blue pearl. Under the hood she has a 3.6 litre engine pushing out 283 horsepower and 260 foot pounds in torque. In the front here we have your headlights, daytime running lights and signal lights and of course those fog lights down here at the bottom. Lots of tread left in these tires. They are Bridgestones mounted onto a factory 17 inch rim. You have painting to match mirrors, the mirrors do defrost, painted to match handles, black roof rails, nice chrome accents. Let me go grab the keys and I'll show you the inside. Perfect. So on the key fob here we have your panic, unlock, lock, open up that boot, remote start and your two power sliding doors. So I'll go ahead and unlock it for us. your nice black leather seating now the driver's seat is powered inside the door here we have your power locks your power windows and your adjustable mirrors let me just hop on in you have your lights down here on the left on the side of the steering wheel here is a button so you can bring your foot pedals up or down or whichever is comfortable for you on the back of the steering wheel here we have your Windscreen wipers, on the steering wheel we have your screen options and of course that cruise control. So I'll just go ahead and start it up for us. So you have your trash control, your ABS. Currently sitting at 123,621 kilometers. So lots of life left in her, but do speak to one of our finance managers about any extended warranty which you may wish to purchase, just to make sure that you are fully covered. And we'll just flick through a few of the screen options here using these buttons on the steering wheel. Right now we're at your fuel economy, your vehicle speed, trip information, your tire pressure, vehicle information, messages, units, system setup, turn menu off and then we're back to that fuel economy. Right up at the top here you have your button for your two rear sliding doors, your power tailgates, just a little bit further down here. You have your voice recognition, Bluetooth, your radio having your AM, FM satellite, your media options, your CD player. Menu, audio, my files, your USB and auxiliary. And of course the vehicle has a very handy backup camera. Dual climate control, front and rear defrost heated front seats, economy mode, hazard lights, 115 volt power outlet which you can turn on or off and of course that trash control. Now in the center here you have your two 12 volt plug-ins, two cup holders and tons of storage. Stick with me and I'll show you the rest. I just want to show you how these power doors work and um, if you didn't push the button you can just pull the handle out and it will open up for you giving you two seats in the middle, cargo nest at the back of the seat. Let me just hop on in. Now right up at the top here, you have your climate control options, but don't forget you can turn them off at the front if you don't want anyone playing around with them. Storage. And of course the storage goes all the way back in the ceiling there. Now to get into that third row seating, you can either climb around through the middle, or there is just a little lever on the side, simply pull that and the seat will flip up for you giving you three more seats in the back, cup holders on either side. Now if you did want some shade, let me just hop on in here. You do actually have your little shade visors which you can pull up or put down and that is in the whole vehicle in the back. Now if you want to put that seat back down, you simply just push it back into place and it will lock back in. Same thing to close the door, just simply pull that handle. To get in the boot, there's just a little lever, simply squeeze that, pull it a little bit, and it will open up for you. Now, if you wanted some flat, flush cargo space, you can drop the second and third row seating down. They are all numbered for you, so you'll just pull them in order, and it will drop right down into the ground there for you. Now, to close the boot, so there is just a little button on the left-hand side. Simply push that, mind your head, and it will close for you. quick peek in that third row seating that 
second row seating, tons of leg space. Inside the passenger door here, you have your power locks, your power window, and of course that powered seat. Glove compartments with your owner's manual. So if you'd like to take this gorgeous town and country for a test drive, come on out to Captain Jeep and hopefully we see you soon. Take care.